A day that will live in infamy. That is what Franklin Roosevelt called December 7th, 1941, the day America was attacked at Pearl Harbor. It was a defining day for America, one of innocence lost. We've had other days of infamy in the years since. The assassination of President John F. Kennedy, the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., 9-11. Well, one year ago today, we added another, January 6, 2021. Another dark chapter in America's history, our latest day which will live in infamy. But this one is unique, an attack on the underpinnings of America herself by our fellow citizens, an insurrection, something not seen here since 1865. And make no mistake, that's exactly what it was, an attack on the institutions we all claim to hold dear, our democracy. And as sure as I'm standing here saying this to you right now, there are others saying that it wasn't. A former president, elected officials, media members, podcasters, and more, all repeating some variation of the same twisted story. Lies presented as fact to a mass of people who accepted them as gospel and then acted, rampaging through the halls of Congress, leaving defecation and destruction behind them, along with the battered bodies of Capitol Police officers who stood against them. The people of America came together after Pearl Harbor, united in their opposition of a common enemy. We did again after 9-11, but there's been no coming together following the insurrection. How can there be when the laws have been established in state after state behind the very same lies that birthed it? When elected officials who still repeat the lies daily refuse to tell the truth about the election that placed Joe Biden in office. When we cannot even collectively agree that it was in fact a day which will live in infamy. America changed last year. It's no longer the worldwide beacon of democratic ideals it once was. January 6th dimmed that. There is a select group of people, some in positions of authority, some right next door, who believe that democracy should only apply to themselves and their goals, that the concerns of all others are illegitimate, and they're willing to use whatever means it takes to advance them. It's up to us to meet them head on.